have since come to find out that that's completely illegal in California. Those beaver were euthanized. Hi, I'm Jackie Granfield. Uh, we're down here working on snapshot day to assess the Snow Creek entry part into the lake. I worked on this project five or six years ago. It was bought by the California Tahoe Conservancy with wildlife funds to create wildlife habitat as part of the public domain. Beaver are the greatest mechanics of wetlands there are. So we've been looking at projects to facilitate the fact that beavers might occupy these projects. There have been beaver in here for the last few years. I had conducted research in here for the last three years on these beavers to see how that uh, beaver dam building could be incorporated into projects, natural processes. That research uh, stopped a year and a half ago when they killed the beaver. Caltrans became concerned about the level of the water around the highway because uh, in the past this area has a lot of flooding problems. The only thing Caltrans does in here is watch the level of the water on the road for flooding. And when it gets to a certain level, even though that water level stayed steady for the better part of the year, and flooding was not an issue, they came in and took the beaver out anyway. I was told that the beaver were relocated. I have since come to find out that that's completely illegal in California. Those beaver were euthanized. Prior to that, this area was just beautiful, teeming with life. The entrance, the main entrance is over on this side and then there's another uh, entrance on the other side of it and they make their, they have numerous uh, tracks they use that are underwater. When they put the beaver down they did not touch the dam which was the cause of the raised water that they were concerned about. So for the last year the water level has been the same though you know beaver and I honestly don't know who came in and knocked the dam down. 15.4 centigrade. Getting, yeah, a pretty good, uh, getting a pretty good database. Well, when you're doing this kind of work, if you need to get into the creek to do it, you have to be downstream. Stuff working that would be pretty normal. And and then how long? Four times, that's right. Now this is for dissolved oxygen. Right. And then you simply lay it up here and match the color the best you can. Probably around a six. You can you rarely get a, a thing where you go, oh, that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Dissolved yeah. oxygen, five ppm. Particles per million. Put it in the flow, submerge it completely, let it fill, and then actually, yeah, you need to empty it completely and then do that again. And then put the cap in it. And transparency is the same. They say centimeters. Conductivity. Yep. Pair the resultant color with the color segments. Turn it on the strip. Transparency is same. I'm going to make the big feet on it so they know they've got to convert. Just FYI, you need, you need to be very careful about the units hmm. that you use, okay? Because that's that's not a centimeter restriction of the whole area. So starting point is downstream from Highway 20. In this watershed you will occasionally see what looks like an oil on the surface of the water and a lot of people freak out when they see that but a good deal of that is just natural biological decomposition. This is the trash I collected around Snow Creek. As you can see. Dangerous broken glass. Yep. right to cut this willow and they do it to enhance their view.